Hi there, and welcome to my tutorial on Visual Basic 6.0. Today I'm just going to show you how to make a login system for your application. If you haven't seen Silver Magic's tutorial, he goes into far more depth, and it's just a way better login system. Uh, it has a create application, and it has a an administrator application. Uh, it saves the information and into text files, and I'm going to put his um, channel URL in the video you were all into uh, the box to my right. I've learned pretty much everything I know about Visual Basic 6 from his channel and he's just amazing. So thanks for everything uh, Silver Magics, even though you don't really think you did much, I'm sure, but anywho, we're gonna start off a standard EXE. Go and just do this frame here. So the frame is the little one below the label. It has X, Y on the top there. Also going to add two labels, two text boxes, and a command button. Okay, so we're going to clear this, clear this, rename the uh, frame to login, rename label one to username, rename label two to password, and then we're going to rename the command button to login. Alright, now I'm also going to add another form, and I'll show you why I'm doing this later on. Now all this is going to say is just, uh, I don't know, I'll teach you how to use picture box today. And that's, okay, so, okay. Back to form one, uh, we're going to double click the button. Uh, what you can do is, what I'm going to show you how to do today is just to make the password and username fixed so they can't be added, changed, or anything like that. If text w one dot text is... Okay, I know I missed something. Oh yeah, okay. No, I didn't. Text one dot text is equal to nothing. That's what the two quotation marks is, just nothing. Then message box. Please enter a username. Else if text two dot text is equal to nothing, then a message box pops and says, please enter a password else. Okay, so that is pretty much just said if any of the boxes are blank, it'll tell you to enter something. Okay. So if text one dot text oops, is equal to Rob, that's my name, same as Silver Magic, so I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> and text two dot text is equal to, hmm, we'll go YouTube today. Oh, quotation marks. Always have quotation marks, otherwise it won't work. Then show oh no form two dot show. Okay, so that's why I added the other form and form one dot hide. Else <sighs> what do I want to do? End the first if and I probably should have ended the other two ifs up here. So end if end if. Okay. So this is just really basic code for it. All it's saying is, um, if any of the boxes are blank, please enter uh, what you've missed. And if the password and username are correct, move along to the second uh, form. Okay, so we're going to close that, and we'll test it out. Alright, so if I go rob as the username and leave a password blank, log in, please enter a password. If I do the other thing, uh, the other way rather, I'll go rob down here, please enter a username. If I go correct, and it shows form 2 and hides the login. Okay, and this is the picture box, it should actually be a picture. Alright, so we're going to stop it. Now, a lot of people I'm sure are going to ask me for some reason or another, how do I hide um, the username or password with the stars? Well, 
that's rather easy. All you gotta do is just text to dot and then go all the way down here. I can't really remember what it's called right now, but I know it's something. <laughs> Sorry for being a bit. Ah, uh, oh, here we go, here we go. Password care. Okay. So, uh, damn, it's not gonna let me. Okay. Okay, so that should have done it. I'm not a hundred percent on that. Let me check here. Okay. Text two dot password care. No, that won't work. Let me try up here. Okay, quite often, um, where you place the code is everything, uh, not in this case. What the hell is going on here? Okay, honestly, I've... This is just getting aggravating. Okay, you know what, I'll show you that in a, another tutorial when I get it figured out. Okay, so that is saying show this form, hide that one. Um, yeah, so you already know that. Go to form two here, and I've showed you how to add the picture box. That's this one up here by the cursor. I haven't shown you how to put a picture in it yet. So we've got this, and then go all the way down to the properties area here. Click on picture, and there's a three dot thing. Okay, my documents, my pictures. Uh, that's huge, that's pretty cool. What do I want? There you go. Alright, can you guess who that is? Okay. And that's all there is to it, to adding a picture box to your form. So this tutorial kind of ended up being two in one, uh, which I'm not complaining about, just means I don't have to make an extra video. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you learned something, and seriously, check out Silver Magic's um, channel, that's what it's called. Uh, see you next time.